All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're checking out SD Manager, which hopes to elevate your Discord text-to-speech experience to make it a lot more natural and a lot more easy to use. So what does it do? It converts the written word into the spoken word using a number of different text-to-speech service providers that you can select from, and you can also pay to use more advanced text-to-speech models as well, which makes it very natural to talk to people with your text. I'll showcase that in a moment. Uh, it can also handle multiple different languages, including some basic uh, communication translation through the bot itself. It has a bunch of customization, and if you want to dig into the more advanced settings, it can also mimic some famous people like the president or other celebrities if you wanted it to. So let's go ahead and check out the list of commands and we'll start previewing what the bot can do. So it's got some general commands. It can say your message. It can send you a joke. You can check its ping and you can also use various text to speech commands that allow it to talk to you with various different speech models or speech voices. And then you can also customize it to use a specific default voice system that you choose and it can be whichever one you really want. And if you pay for it, it can also use some really advanced ones that offer you very natural sounding voices. So let's go ahead and check that out. So the primary bread and butter of ST manager is talking to you. So let's say hello to ST manager. So first I just got to jump into a voice channel and then type in slash say, and then whatever message I want the bot to say, hello. My name is Larry. Nice to meet everyone. Sorry I can't use my microphone right now. I'm on the phone. Hello, my name is Larry. Nice to meet everyone. Sorry I can't use my microphone right now. I am on the phone. So that's the sort of one of the basic voices that you can use. And I think that is the Google voice. But what I can do is I can set a different default provider and I can use from this long list of different providers and they all offer you a different sounding voice because they're from different services. So the first one that I was messing around with was the Google Translate provider, but I can also use the AOE provider, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Hey everyone, I'm using the AOE provider now. How do I sound? So this one's kind of like closer to the one that Stephen Hawking uses. So in fact, let's see what that sounds like if we pretend to be Stephen Hawking. Hey everyone, have you heard about my mathematical theory that talks about black holes? So that one's kind of more robotic. You can understand it pretty well, but it's a little fast, so that one might not be for everyone. You've also got ones like the Amazon's talk to, or text-to-speech provider. So what does the basic Amazon one say? Slash say. Hello, everyone. I am a basic Amazon text-to-speech model. So Amazon actually has a really nice basic text-to-speech voice model. It sounds pretty good but it also kind of sounds like that automated voice that's kind of chopped up a little bit that you would expect from like a vintage voicemail answering machine so that one sounded pretty good um it's fairly advanced but if you want something that sounds a bit more natural if you pay for the premium version of st manager you get access to a couple of more advanced tools including amazon poly and the 11 labs tts provider which offers you a voice that sounds almost like you're talking to a real person. So I'm guessing it's computer enhanced, but it sounds really natural. But first let's check out Amazon Polly and see what that sounds like. Howdy. I'm Amazon Polly. Kind of like those Polly pocket toys everyone had in the nineties. Nice to meet you. So that's Amazon Polly. Um, it's still got a couple of different ways of pronouncing things like a kind of smooched I am. 
and it simply says, hi, I'm Amazon Polly. And it sounds pretty good, and it also sounds like it's a bit more mature of a voice and a bit older of a voice. Uh, the other one I think we should check out, but we should check out Eleven Labs, which is the really advanced one that you gotta have premium support in order to use. And this one uses advanced computer technology in order to sound like you're talking to an actual person. Hey everyone, I'm the Eleven Labs voice model. I sound darn near human, and I'm pretty easy to understand as well. I can also handle pronouncing words in multiple languages too. So that was the Eleven Labs version, and that one was really advanced. Like, that literally sounded like I was talking to one of my sister's friends back when she was in college. So, there you have it. That is a look at what ST Manager can do. It allows you to talk to people using different voices. You can customize it how you want to use it, and allows you to communicate even if you don't have a microphone. So what else have we got here under the hood that might be interesting? So it can also tell us jokes, so we can have the bot tell us a joke, slash joke. And if we want, we can even have the bot say this joke as well. My wife and I have reached the difficult decision that we do not want children. If anybody does, please just send me your contact details and we can drop them off tomorrow. <laughs> so you can have it sell you a joke. You can also check the current ping of the bot, slash ping. And instead of setting the default voice for the channel over and over again, if you want to quickly say a message in a different uh, voice type, there are a couple default ones, like just having the Stephen Hawking voice say something that you can use as well. Just popping in to say hello. I'm totally not a robot that took over Stephen Hawking's body. So you can do like direct messages with this and you can also do various configurations so you can fine tune the settings to have a specific voice for each channel that the bot can pop into. You can have a specific voice for each person or you can just set a default voice provider for the entire server. You can also add a whitelist so that only approved members of the server who have gone through and told you, hey, I don't have a microphone, could I use the TTS bot? And you can add them to the whitelist through the slash whitelist tool here, and then only those people will be able to use the bot. Otherwise, if someone's spamming with the bot, you can remove them from the whitelist so that they are no longer able to abuse that privilege. So we can also do some of the more premium commands. We can have Google or Microsoft say, Hey, this is Clippy. Does anyone need help writing a message in Microsoft Word? So you can use all sorts of commands here, and it tells you exactly what you can get when you do premium versus regular. If you want to try it out for yourselves, there is a free version that has the basic set of voices that comes along with it, and you can play around with that. And if you find that you want to use premium, premium will run you between $5 a month up to $9 a month. Looks like the most popular version is six. And it gives you a Patreon role on their support server. You can have ST Manager for two Discord servers. You can have access to the beta test features and a shout out on their server. I'm guessing that's priority access to um, support when you need it. And if you, you also get the more advanced features of the bot, the better voice like models that sound more natural and give you more flexibility with what you're doing. And then if you go all the way up to, to premium, um, you get ST Manager for six servers, the premium version, access to betas, a shout out, and a Patreon role. It's mostly how many uh, servers it looks like that you want to have premium functionality on for your uh, bot. It would probably be good to also let people know, like right off the bat inside of here, exactly a list of like all of the premium features you unlock. But you can kind of see that if you go over here to the different commands that you can use and look at all of the stuff that they do. But yeah, that's a look at ST Manager. It's a primary bread and butter is letting you talk to people, even if all you can do 
is type out your messages and your words. And I think it's pretty cool. So that's it for this one, folks. I've been your host, Larry, checking out ST Manager. Try it out for yourselves. I'll put a link to the website in the video description. Till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.